A group of Chinese journalists were invited to Seoul. This was to reassure them and China it's safe to visit Korea again since a de facto end to the MERS outbreak was declared. Our cultural correspondent Kim ji followed the group to hear about their experiences. Normally during this time of year in this shopping district Myeongdong in Seoul, it will be packed with foreign tourists from China. For many years now, they've been making up a majority of foreign tourists to Korea, but their number had no sight by nearly 50 percent in the wake of the MERS outbreak to just under 350,000 last month. And data suggests that if further measures are not taken, it might not pick up anytime soon. The Korea Association of Travel Agents says demand for travel-related products by Chinese visitors during the July to August period dropped more than 80 percent compared to the same period last year. In response, the tourism ministry has sought to reassure Chinese visitors that Korea is safe to visit. To prove its point, it invited a group of reporters from Chinese media outlets to Korea as part of efforts to entice Chinese tourists back to the country. An exchange group comprised of 500 Koreans is scheduled to be sent to Beijing late next month. Their goal will be to ensure that cultural exchanges and tours between Korea and China go ahead as planned. During their six-day visit to Korea that started Wednesday, they invited journalists will have the chance to tour and report on Korean tourism after visiting some of the travel destinations favored by Chinese tourists. This is my third time visiting Korea, and I could see the number of people in touristy areas has decreased compared to before. During this trip, however, I also learned that Koreans are not largely affected by the MERS outbreak anymore. When I go back to China, I plan to tell my friends that it's safe to visit Korea again. The ministry also plans to lure tours through its annual Korea Grand Sale program, which originally takes place in the winter but will start next month and run through the end of October. During that time, local businesses in the tourism sector will be initiating promotional events and major discounts for tourists. Kim Jiang, Arirang News.